Some people have asked, why did we leave the big hole in the back of the cover plate there? Um, certainly guys among the HK community, some among the mechanic community have noticed that if you carry the gun a lot, um, lint will, go, will end up getting in this hole and you end up with lint down inside the operating mechanism of your gun. Definitely what they call suboptimal. However, people underestimate the value of this hole and I've, I've opted to keep it in our design for reasons that I kind of have to show you more than tell you. Uh, this is a, a Glock 26, which is the, gun, the other gun that I carry all the time. And when it when it's cocked, you can see the trigger position is forward. And this is true of a great many firearms, that you can look at the physical position of the trigger and know something about the gun. If I, if I look at this gun and I see the trigger is forward, I know that it's cocked. I don't know that it's loaded necessarily, but it's definitely cocked. Um, and when I pick it up, I'm going to be treating it with, a, with an even higher level of concern than I would normally because, hey, could be loaded, could be cocked and ready to go. Once I've checked that it's not there, there's no, there, excuse me, that the round in the chamber is not there, and I pull the trigger to make for a triple sure it's safe, now the trigger stays to the rear. So you know, I can look at that and say, ah, trigger to the rear, Glock, it's not cocked. It might be, there might be a round in there, there might be something broken here, but I know picking it up, it, I, I can pull the trigger all I want, nothing's gonna happen. We do the same thing with the Kanek. Kanek shows trigger forward, I do a press check to see if there's anybody there, nobody there, but look, trigger forward because I'm cocked, trigger's still forward. I can't, that doesn't tell me anything on the Canik. The only thing that tells you anything about the status of the gun in the Canik is that little hole. When you cock the gun, there's a, you can see the white tip or red, either the red circle or the white tip of, your, of the tail of your striker, which fit pretty well fills that hole. And you can look at it just quickly to see, is it cocked? And now you know, that's the only thing that's telling you anything. If I cover that up in order to keep from getting limbed in there, I'm back to guessing. I can rack the slide and know, I can press check and see that there's a round in there, but is the striker really cocked? The only way I know is by looking at that. So that's the, that's the design philosophy as to why a, a Tama Freelance slide cover plate maintains the hole in the back and other people don't.